Hey guys, it's John, and I'm not dead. I'm actually more ready for a battle than ever. Actually, I've just been really busy lately with the winter season starting, and I have had no time for narrations at all, except now I had some time. So I figured I'd give you another battle. Uh, here today we have a battle with a user named Kudafis. He's been a friend f of mine for a long time, and we wanted to get a battle in, so we finally got one in. I think this happened about a week ago. And uh, it was just a standard OU match, but we decided to mix it up a little. Uh, the rules were we each brought three OUs, two UUs, and one NU. And, um, yeah, so it was pretty interesting. And, of course, he had to bring a Blissey and a hip out on defensive core, which was actually quite annoying. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to lead off with my Machamp, and he's going to lead off with a Gengar, which is interesting, because I've never... I don't really see lead Gengars ever. But uh, I'm just going to pay him back, and I know I have the Lumberry, so if he tries to Hypnosis me, then I can just take that and um, use Payback and for the one-hit KO. Um, yeah, and he set up a sub hoping maybe I'd switch, but... Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, he goes in his Moltres. He doesn't take that Payback too well. I know it's not too smart for me to stay in, so I go out to my special wall, Slow King. You know what? Come to think of it, I think I brought two NUs. I think Slow King might have been UU at the time of this battle. Well, yeah, this is my special wall, and he's amazing. And uh, look at how little that Air Slash did. So he's going to roost up because he likes stalling. And, <laughs> yeah, actually, Kudaf has brought a really stall-oriented team. But that's fine. You know, it's his uh, his team. But, um, yeah, then he goes out to Blissey Maze, and this Surf is going to do negative one damage. And he's just going to shrug it off like it's nothing. So I could go into Machamp here, but you know what? I'm predicting a status move, so I go under my UU, which is Registeel. And I know Toxic wouldn't affect me, and Thunder Wave won't really hurt me because I'm slow as hell already. Now, I don't want to explode this early in the battle because I figured he'll go out to a defensive wall or his Gengar. So I just decided to go for the Thunder Wave, but it doesn't actually affect what he brings in. I was hoping he'd go into his Gengar. So now I go out to Porygon Z, and I'm like, okay, here we go. I'm gonna just gonna Ice Beam him for the one hit KO. I don't even know if it'd be a one hit KO. I think it might be a two hit KO. But it'd still do a crap load of damage. And my Specs Porygon Z does absolutely nothing. But I get a Freeze! But the Freeze isn't gonna matter because he has Natural Cure. I would've felt like an asshole if I had froze something else, but since it's a Blissey and he has Natural Cure, I'm fine. So now I'm gonna get a free switch into Gengar, and this is my sub-split Gengar, which I haven't used in forever. And I th figured I'd bring it back, because, uh, I don't know, it was one of my original things. And he told me he either misclicked or he predicted a switch. He goes for the hidden power fighting, and I knew this thing was scarfed, so I knew it was really risky um, substitute there, but then he goes in his Gengar and pa I paint split, and yeah, so now I'm like, okay, I'll just shadow ball him for the kill, and he's just going to make a double switch here and go back out to this thing so he can use a different move. I don't know, at this point he just wanted to break my sub, and um, I was hoping Sandstorm would take him out, but it doesn't, of course. So right here he goes for Ice Beam. And I'm just going to finish him off with a uh, Shadow Ball. And I know whatever he brings in, I can probably Pain Split for a full recovery. So, um, yeah, I'm down to almost red HP. Haha, <laughs> 69 HP. But now he goes into his Nation. And I made a really risky move here by going for the Pain Split, but I managed to get a full heal. He was hoping for a free switch on a predicted Shadow Ball, but man, did that backfire. So, um, I know at this point a Focus Blast isn't going to KO. And a Shadow Ball won't do anything. So I go to Substitute, predicting maybe a Thunder Wave. But he goes for a Soft Boiled. I'm like, I hate this Blissey. Like, it's official now. And, um, I don't know what I do here. I think I might just start going for Focus Blasts here. Yeah, I just start hitting the Focus Blasts because there's really nothing I can do. Um, I do have a Metacham that's Choice Banded on this team, which would be perfect, but I don't know if he's going to Thunder Wave predicting a switch, and I would hate to have a Paralyzed Metacham. And even though the Choice Banded sets don't have too much speed, they still rely somewhat on speed. So anyways, um, I think at this point, oh yeah, he goes back in his Moltres, and I Focus Blast and miss, which totally cost me the game there, but not really. And, um... I think right here I'm just going to go for the kill. Oh no, I, pa I pain split first. Man, this battle was stally. Why did I pick this for my battle, my first battle in weeks? 
Um, yeah, I've decided... Oh, yeah, I should give you guys updates about Black and White. I'm playing the Black and White game. I really have no time for video games at all. I don't think I played any games at all this week. But, um, when I have time, I'm going to play through Black and White. And, um, I got it working on my R4. I always get stuck in one part, no matter which patch I have. Because she... The professor tries to give me the C gear, and then the game kind of, like, freezes up on me. But, whatever. Um, oh yeah, right here is kind of a turning point. I get the special defense drop, which doesn't matter. But right here, he decides not to switch out. I don't know why. But, oh well, at least I got rid of that Moltres. And, um, yeah. So that's that. <clears throat> and, oh yeah, for black and white battles, so I can't wait for them. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, here we go. Ente, he's gonna send us Ente, which I wasn't expecting. But I know that he's not gonna have, well, he might have extreme speed, because it looks like an event Ente. But if he did, it wouldn't matter, because that wouldn't affect me. So I just go for the pain split for a full heal, and I'm like, oh, well, he's gonna stone edge. I don't know, he might have been predicting a, oh, sorry, my mic just really got messed up there. Yeah, he might have been predicting a switch, and went for the stone edge, but I don't know. And then he just goes for the flare blitz. So, um, unfortunately for him, after recoil damage and after sandstorm damage, he's going to be really far down. That's my prediction here by going for the hidden power fighting as he goes into his Blissey. But look how much this does to Blissey. Like, less than Ice Beam did. <laughs> I mean, that was just pathetic. And I'm one of the strongest special attackers in the game. But, uh,. Yeah, now I'm going to go out to Machamp, knowing I can take a Thunder Wave and heal it off with Lumberry. And I'm thinking he might go into um, his Gengar here, because he predicted Dynamic Punch. Either that, or he's going to go into his uh, stupid Hippowdon. I hate Hippowdons. They're so annoying to take down. But uh, yeah, he goes into his Hippowdon, but at least I get the Confusion off on him. Um, man, this part was slow. Oh yeah, now he's gonna go out. Now I go out to my Registeel, and I'm hoping I can just go boom on him to end him. And uh, he's gonna roar me out though. And now I'm in Sloking, and I know he's gonna switch into Bliss, uh, his Blissey here. And um, what do I do? I'm. I believe this is a huge. This is actually a huge turning point in the game. He's gonna go out to his Gengar. Oh, that. that this isn't the change. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at narrating now. I've so out of practice. Sorry, it's been like so long, guys. Yeah, I think 4th gen battles are okay, though, because I see a lot of people still posting 4th gen battle, because a lot of people don't really have 5th gen battles up yet, especially people that are poor and don't have ace cards like me. But, um... Alright, so now I think I'm gonna go... Just go boom, but... What does he do? He goes into Entei, so... Yeah, I do go boom, but it does nothing, because... Well, it does... It kills Zente, but... You know, that, that was kind of pointless at this point in the game. And, he, okay, here's where the game changes. I promise this time it does. All he's got left are his two walls. So I'm choice banded. I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. I'm on a, a max defensive hit Powdon. Look at that. I two hit KO it with Ice Punch. And, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the raw power of Metacham, now he's going to go with his Blissey, hoping he can take the non stab move a little better. But since Blissey has pathetic defenses, it's going to two-hit KO that. And now he knows it's a good game at this point. So, um, because I mean, yeah, there's really absolutely nothing he could do. So, good game, Kudafis. Um, he's a great friend of mine. Go check out his channel. The channel link will be in the description below. Um, amazing battler, and now I think he's starting to get some 5th gen battles up. And, um, there's this new chat that this guy, this really cool guy named Shofu made. It's called Chia. It's a Zat. So go check that out, too. I go there sometimes. And, uh, anyways, uh, rate, comment, sub, guys. It's great to be back. And hopefully I can bring you more videos. Oh, question of the day. Um, my question of the day is, what are you guys asking for this year for Christmas? I am going to be asking for iPod speakers, a sweet iHome, maybe. Anyways, uh, leave your comment below, and uh, see you later.